and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about age. And more specifically, I'm going to try and answer the questions, are you too old to learn the piano? And how old is too old to learn the piano? If you want the answer to these questions, then you may have just hit the YouTube jackpot and you'll want to stick around to the end to find out. So this is a common question, and you're at the very least probably on this video right now because you've heard that age plays a part in learning. So I wanted to look a bit deeper into this, and here is the bad news. There are studies out there that suggest that there is a link between age and learning, and that beyond a certain age, it's very difficult to keep learning at the same pace that you could when you were younger. One such study goes as far as to say, in order to achieve a high level of proficiency in sports, in music, in languages, that you should start learning when you're a child. And this particular study says that after the age of 12, your ability to react and your learning time decreases. And it also backs up the learning acquisition model, which suggests that after the age of 60, there is a further decrease in your ability to learn. So what does this mean for the piano? So the piano is an acquired skill, it takes time. It's a physical skill that requires practice and repetition. And according to this study, putting it simply, if you don't start when you're young, you're not likely to become a professional pianist. And I don't think this study is wrong. I mean, when adult learners say to me that they think children learn particularly fast or they feel like they are learning slow, what they actually mean is that it looks like children don't need to practice or think about how they're practicing that much. And that's true. However, this isn't a bad thing because what that means is that adults have the ability to understand. And this very same study even highlights that. It says when you get past a certain age that the way that you learn changes and it becomes a more complex process. And the ability to understand and use experience in order to learn is a massive advantage. It can take as long as a year for a child to understand scales or chords or anything even remotely emotional. However, older learners already have a pre-existing history of understanding how to learn and understanding emotions. And in my opinion, in music specifically, I think this outweighs the ability to pick things up quickly. And that's not to say that adults can't pick things up quickly. The thing is, as adults, we expect to be able to do things straight away. I mean, you're usually skilled in your job. You may have kids who think you're the font of all knowledge. And there is a fear of not being able to do something or having to work hard to do something. And I think this is why adult learners question how fast they are learning. Because they understand how to do it, but they just can't physically do it yet. And this is a problem that children don't have. So yes, it makes sense that children are more likely to become professional pianists if they start when they're young, and it become more of a thoughtless skill. But what children have in their ability to pick things up quickly, adults have in their ability to understand and in their experience. This is why more than 70% of adult learning is self-directed, because we already understand how to learn, we just don't understand what we need to learn, and we obviously want to avoid mistakes that other people have already made. So having said all of this, what does that actually mean? Well, it means that you are absolutely not too old to start learning the piano. If you are 10 years old, 40 years old, 100 years old, you should start right now. Well, if you're 100 years old, I would probably chill out. It just means how you learn has different advantages and disadvantages. And I think in music, experience and emotional intelligence has a massive role to play. Anyway, if you've started learning the piano or you're considering it, then let me know in the comments. And if you found this video useful, then hit me with a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.